Yoda. Welcome to the Skin Clinic. My name is Dr. Shiva. I will be your dermatologist today. How are you? It's good, it's good. Uh, can I get you to confirm your name, please? Okay. Mm hmm. What's your contact phone? Mm hmm. Yep. Mm hmm. Perfect. Can I get you to confirm your address, please? Perfect. Okay. So before we begin, I'd like to have a quick consultation with you today. I just want to get a rough understanding about concerns, where you're at with your skin, um, if there's anything that I need to know, okay? Perfect. So, uh, can you let me know what your skin concerns are? If any. Mm hmm. Okay. Yep. Okay. So, something like that. I'll do a face map. So, map out your face. Have a look at the individual areas and the different levels of dryness, oiliness, any skincare concerns. That way, put together a skincare routine for you so that you can properly look after your skin, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes, we can do we can do some extractions today, that's no problem. It's absolutely fine. Okay. Tell me, do you have a skincare routine? So that can range from splashing your face with water to a 12-step skincare routine. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep, okay. Yeah, I like to keep it nice and simple. It's perfect. Perfectly fine. And are you wearing sunscreen? Ah, oh, good, good. Yeah, it's really important to wear sunscreen. Um, even that's not sunny. Basically, if it's daytime, you should be wearing sunscreen. Uh, the sun can cause many things, such as melanoma, uh, pigmentation, early aging, um, both serious to less serious, but it is something you definitely want to wear. Mm -hmm. I find it's best to just put it on when you wake up, because even if you don't plan to go outside, you may walk past a window or find yourself sitting beside a window. The sun can affect your skin. So just implement it into that morning routine when you're brushing your teeth and getting up and things like that. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. Do you have any allergies? skin concerns you might have, such as rosacea, dermatitis, eczema, anything like that. Okay. Perfect. Taking any medications? Okay. Yep. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Have you been to a beauty salon or anything like that for another dermatologist in the last month. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's, um, can be quite uh, intense on the skin if you are regularly visiting a, a spa or anything like that um, too frequently because it can really affect the skin if you do too much to it. It's the balance between doing absolutely nothing to it and then doing way too much to it and overwhelming the skin and affecting the skin barrier, so it's just important that we know that you haven't been doing anything too invasive to your skin before we work with you today. So. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So, we'll begin with just an assessment and a skin mapping, so what's going to happen is I'm going to 
with some light and a magnifying glass so I can get up close and personal with you. And I will divide the face into zones and make notes uh, regarding each zone, okay? Perfect. And then from there, I will recommend some products to you. You can use a couple of them today if you need any support with that to also do your extractions as well, okay? clipboard over here and make notes as we go. So I'm going to put on some gloves. That way we maintain the utmost hygiene. Light here. You can close your eyes if this gets too bright, but I won't be shining it too much in your eyes. I've got the magnifying glass here. I'm just going to start with zone one. So I'm just going to come a little bit closer to you. So, okay. Okay. So on the voyage. shape. Thank you. 
Excellent. Moving on to zone two now. similar on either side. So of three, so the temple. Moving on to zone five and six, so along either cheekbone, okay? Zone seven and eight, so the lower part of the cheek. So seven. Okay. A little bit dry around here. A little bit of irritation around the jaw area. This tends to be a place.
Moving on to the nose area. Definitely have that blot going around a little bit. Definitely could do those extractions today. It's definitely the oiliest part of the face. This whole blackhead is basically called poor. on to underneath the nose. You just want to press your lips together just to expose that area. Thank you. So. Okay. Let's see. Nothing too much we can see here. Just relative. When we say normal, we mean neither dry or oily combination. It's just skin. <laughs> kind of like your hand or something like that. So something that's important to remember is the types of skin can change over time and different parts of the face can have different types of skin as well. So you might have found that in your younger years you probably had quite oily combination skin and as you get older drier or vice versa. There's no rule book when it comes to this. So don't fret. Next we're going to move on to the chin. up for me so I can do your neck. Thank you. So. It's the neck. It's often forgotten about. Uh, we are finding that there's a change in how the neck changes over time. See, people are more often keeping their heads kind of knocked down like this, which is causing lines to their phones or the computers and of course they need to change a lot more than it used to be. <laughs> it's kind of reverse evolution. <laughs> and on this side. Mm -hmm. And when you're applying the sunscreen, do remember to bring it down onto your neck. In fact, if you're ever doing any skincare, uh, bring it down onto the neck. The last thing you want is for your face to look really young and your neck to not match that at all doing any anti-aging skincare or even sunscreen, just bring it down onto the neck, okay? Perfect. Okay. So, regarding the mapping, I can conclude that you have normal to combination skin. There are some areas of dryness, such as the forehead, uh, along with just the lower parts of the cheeks, whereas the upper parts of the cheeks tend to be a little bit more oily for you, okay? Would you like me to walk you through just a couple of skincare tips to manage that, or are you fine? Yeah, it's perfectly fine, okay. So, I'm going 
to do the skin care on your skin to prep your skin for your extractions. It's the best way to show you how to use them is to demonstrate them on you, okay? Perfect. So this is a cleanser. It's recommended by a lot of dermatologists. It's got no harsh chemicals, anything like that. It just kind of does the job. It's basically the bread and butter of skincare. So this is a cleanser. You can wash your face too. One to two times a day. Some people choose to not wash their faces uh, more than once, which is completely fine. I find it's best to wash your face before you go to bed. If you're going to wash your face at any time. Because your face has got all the debris and oil build up. And basically anything that's been on it throughout the day. Uh, and just basically don't wash that off before you go to bed. Because your skin repair happens most when you're asleep. If you're going to be using lots of skin care products, like moisturizers, and serums, and such like this, when you wake up in the morning, uh, you may find that you might not want to wash that off. Uh, because you haven't been running a marathon while you're sleeping, you haven't been touching your face while you're sleeping, you haven't been out and about getting pollution or anything like that onto your face. So you might not want to wash off all those wonderful products that you've put on your face. Um, a lot of people find that cutting down face washing can actually help the skin to come to its balance, but do at least wash it once a day. Excellent. So, I'm just going to apply this to a pad. Like this. And put this on your face. Forehead, down the nose. I want this one to have all the warmth of my hands, will cause the pores to soften up. And once the pores are soft, I can extract those products for you. Okay. Perfect. as well. Perfect. Taking a fresh cotton pad to remove that. Make sure that there's no bacteria on the face. So when I extract, build up inside the pores. is the extractor. It's got a little loop at the end. I will press the loop into the skin. Like this. And it will cause the uh, build-up to remove itself from the pore. Okay. I'm just going to sanitize. Okay, 
I'll be using this to wipe the excess off. I'll dispose of it. Okay, so just relax. So we've got a little bit more, just kind of more in the nose area. So those are your exfoliants. It's basically for removing skin buildup, dead skin, those kinds of things. Uh, you may find that they can be helpful for things. Treating damage once it's there. You can prevent. You don't have to treat later. So, I'm going to do to apply sunscreen. So, you could get lots of kinds of sunscreen. Uh, you can get mineral or physical, which is usually things like zinc. Celebrities when they haven't run their sunscreen in properly. The other one that's like a big on his face, yeah, for the sake. Um, and we have chemical sunscreens, which is uh, a usual one that pe most people use. Though some people find that chemical sunscreens uh, can be quite painful and irritate the skin. So that's when they sink. So just really, really blend it into the skin. Chemical sunscreens definitely uh, 
they have a longer staying time because they sink into the skin, which is why some people find that a little bit irritating. Whereas a physical sunscreen rests on the top of the skin. Um, and that would mean that it would need to be reapplied more often. So when you bring two hours, whereas a physical sorry, a chemical sunscreen would be four hours. But if you're going in the water, so you're going to the beach or something, you should buy sunscreen. and salty, salty water. Very salty, salty water. Okay, how are we looking? Hmm. I think we've got all of them. Just a couple more here. tangles a little bit just because we did those extractions, but other than that, it should feel pretty good. How's it going? Good one. Yeah, good. So another thing to keep in mind is that every time you try a new skincare product, you should definitely patch test first. It's very important. One of the best places to patch test is behind the ear. So you don't want to patch test on like an arm or anything like that because the skin on the arm is very different to the face whereas the skin here it's very similar to the skin on the face but uh, if you happen to have a nasty reaction it won't be as noticeable so that's a little pro tip there for you so to help with your uh, oils and um, blackheads and things like that niacinamide it helps with things like redness and oil control. It helps to tighten the pores as well so that you don't get so much build up. Mm -hmm. The rewards will definitely be worth it. So I'm just going to drip this on here. And just gently put this on my face. So, when it comes to skin care, the best way to remember how things go on is to start with the finest product first, so something you may rinse off or something like a toner, those go first. Then gradually uh, this viscosity, go in order of viscosity, so something like a serum, it's a little bit lighter, more often it's water soluble, so go on with that one after you've done any cleaning or toning. Then that you move on to creams and anything that's oil based. Some people do like an oil based cream. Uh, but some things like retinoids uh, can come in an oil based form. A retinoid is a vitamin A derivative. And um, it can be used for anti aging, for light pigmentation. Some moisturizer. So this would be one of your 
second to last steps. If you're going to bed, it would be your last step. If you're going out, you do sunscreen afterwards. If you were going to do sunscreen after the moisturizer, so I'm just going to use my fingers for this one. So after we have washed our face, we need to uh, replace the moisturizer. A lot of times oil can can come from an overproduction of oil because there's not enough moisture in the skin. So a moisturizer will help the skin to manage its own balance of hydration. It's also obviously going to help with the dry areas of the skin. A lot of people think that if they have oily skin, they don't want to touch moisturizer because they think it'll make it worse. But the same thing, uh, the oil buildup is your skin telling you it needs hydration. It needs hydration. It needs a drink. It doesn't overproduce it. Okay. Sunscreen. So, I've got a sunscreen here. This is a zinc based one. The reason I've gone for a zinc based one show you how to apply it to your skin. Um, things like chemical based ones, you just rub that in, it'll be fine. With the sink based moisturizer, it's got that white cast, so you need to uh, apply it correctly so that it doesn't show too much. So the trick is to push it into the skin, blot it into the skin. So, going out in the sun, apply a hat, some sunglasses, loose-fitted, long-sleeve clothing. Staying in the shade is the best way to protect your skin from the sun. Go, it's all blended in very nicely. we have for today. That's all we wanted to bring up. I will get a print up of your skincare mapping, your skincare analysis, and send it through to you. Uh, do you have any other queries or questions today? No? Okay. Excellent. Thank you for coming in. I really hope you found this informative and relaxing. And hopefully we'll see you again soon. Not too soon though. Irritate that skin now, too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cookie day, my friend.